Uh, hello, uh, this is Milo Price, uh, also known as Darth Milo 77 and Milo Price Studios on YouTube. Um, and it's been 10 years since I made my account, I guess. So I'm looking at my account page now. Uh, it says joined October 23, uh, 2006. Um, 17,371 subscribers and 28,498,463 views. Um, I'd like to say uh, thank you. Um, you know, thanks for watching this now, and, uh, thanks for watching this then. So, yeah, um, I originally, uh, made this channel in October of 2006, uh, which is still really weird to think about for me that that was, uh, uh, ten years ago. But, um, yeah, it actually... I'd made, there were some earlier videos I made, um, uh, with Legos. The Star Wars ones were, I think the first couple I uploaded were The Phantom Menace and Revenge of the Sith, which I'd made in 2005, actually. Um, or no, no, I started in 2005, finished in 2006, and uploaded to YouTube a few months later, because I didn't have a YouTube account yet. Um, it was still kind of a new thing at the time, as weird as it thinks, seems to think about now, like, I think I even had a MySpace forum at some point, which, you know, <laughs> you wouldn't really bother today. Um, but yeah, I, uh, early on it was really exciting just getting so many views, uh, so often. Um, like, I still remember, like, the first time I had a hundred total views, I, I was super excited for that, um. I think I even did some sort of bad math in my head, like, yeah, let's see, there's uh, 300,000 people in the U.S., um, or sorry, 300 uh, million people in the U.S., you know, divide by 100, and, you know, this person of everyone's seen my videos, like, y y you know, now it's silly. Um, I think when you're first getting started, it seems like, uh, you know, much more of an important thing. Um, uh, but... Yeah, I mean, I think having an audience was really encouraging in making things. Like, as a lot of you can probably attest, it's very hard um, just making things when there's no particular audience. Um, so that was definitely really positive, and something that I don't think could really happen today quite as easily. Because, you know, like I said, when I joined YouTube, it was still sort of a new thing. Um, YouTube was founded in 2005, and... Um, uh, even in 2006, it was still just kind of getting started in some ways. Um, I mean, now you go and there's just such a huge barrier to entry because it's so saturated. Like, now that, you know, I mean, I'm filming this on my phone. Um, at the time I started, uh, smartphones didn't really exist as we know them. Um, all you had were the kind of crappy feature phone cameras, and now anyone with the phone can make a 4K video, uh, for free. So, you know, it's both very encouraging and very kind of daunting, because you go on and just everyone in the world, uh, is who you're up against now. Um, so yeah, if I, if I was starting in 2016 with the same videos, I don't think there's really any chance, uh, anyone would watch my stuff, but, um... You know, still. Um, yeah. Let's see, I think I became a partner in 2008. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, early 2008. They were expanding the partner program, and um, which I think... I'm not really sure how it works today. You can write in the comments and, and explain if you want, but... Um, I think it's something like everyone can have ads on their videos for money, but at the time it was, you know, really unheard of. Um, it was really, I, I think they wrote to me because I wrote in and asked how to get in the partner program like a year and a half earlier and forgot about it. And then like they wrote to me like, hey, you know, we'd like, we'd like you to be in the partner program. And it's like, wow, because I'd, I'd forgotten entirely, I asked, but, um, yeah, you know, those were good times, um a million views at the time was really rare, like, you could maybe count, you know, probably most of the videos you'd seen had, like, a million views max, and, like, the all the rest were, you know, something your friends had made, like, it was definitely a different landscape at the time. 
Um, my first one, 2 million views, was the one where it's the lightsaber duel from uh, The Phantom Menace, uh, which actually, at one point, uh, that ended up on uh, Empire Magazine's website. They had a list of cool uh, Lego videos, and it's like, you know, there, there's some really good ones, and then there's just this choppy, um, you know, thing I made. And, like, people in the comments are even complaining that it made the list, and so, like, I was really excited that it made that list, you know, really... Uh, you know, a little bit embarrassed that it wasn't that good, and, like, people had noticed that, but... I mean, you know, unless it sound like I'm really getting down on myself, just... You know, it's... I, I guess it's kind of different when it's something you've made, for one thing, but... I mean, also, just... There's so much better stuff now than there was at the time, like... People just do insane... Especially after the Lego movie, which I was a big fan of. I uh, really liked how they went with kind of the stop-motion aesthetic more than making everything look like it's, it's made of CGI logos. Um, but, yeah, I, especially, like, near the end of the movie, um, I think they actually used uh, footage from uh, movies that fans had sent in. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really cool to see how that spread. Yeah, you know, when I started, there were a handful of people doing Lego animation on YouTube, and now it's, you know, I'm sure one of the top search terms every day. Um, I think my favorite thing I made on my channel was Solitary, and probably a lot of yours too, from the comments I've gotten. Um, that just started out as kind of a quick idea, and wasn't really meant to be this big long thing, except that, uh, as fate would have it, I tripped over the cord for my camera, uh, the summer I started that. Uh, and, uh, the camera itself was fine, but there was one, um, I think it was the Firewire port or the DVI port or something, uh, that broke, and, yeah, it, it was kind of an older model, and, uh, so it turned out I would have to send it to a specialist for the entire summer and not make any movies, which, you know, was excruciating at the time, uh, because the summer was when I made the most movies, but, um, so I took what I, what little I made of this movie and made it into two parts and then, you know, advertised for the third part coming soon or whenever, and, uh, you know, it got a good enough response that, um, I ended up making it ten parts, uh, it was gonna be kind of short, but it ended up being ten parts, um, a lot of the, uh, I mean, it was, it was, you know, really clearly heavily inspired by, uh, Lost, and, uh, I think there was even, like, an actual Star Wars comic where there was a stranded clone trooper who joined the Rebellion, uh, which they've actually kind of used in Rebels now, um, which, oh, we'll get to that later, I like Rebels, um, but, yeah, kind of a si similar idea, like, wh how would clone troopers, uh, react to the Empire if they weren't there, um, yeah, in 2006, uh, it was the year after Revenge of the Sith release, so that was, you know, the latest Star Wars thing, um, at all, and, and everyone assumed it would be the last movie, um, which, again, more on that later, but, uh, you know, you really saw a lot of stuff just sort of getting to the interesting, you know, now that all the major questions between the prequels and original movies are answered, uh, what can you do with that? So that was sort of the, I guess, state of Star Wars at the time. So since then, so I think the probably the number one question I still get when people still comment on my channel and videos is, actually, can you comment on channels anymore? I don't think you can. Yeah, YouTube's changed a lot. It used to be um, much more kind of MySpacey in its look, which you know, not a bad thing that it changes, but you do miss some features. Um, but yeah, one thing people ask a lot is why I stopped making videos, and the short version is that, uh, I went off to college, um, or I guess university for those overseas. Uh, I didn't, you know, I was moving to a really small dorm, so I didn't really have the space to have a camera and this whole setup, you know, filming setup, and, uh, you know, a whole closet full of Legos, you know, I barely had enough space to take anything, so, uh, 
that's the, I guess, immediate reason. Um, I think I did make a few things. What? Yeah, I think April 2011, uh, I made the, I combined all of Solitary into one part, um, which I'm not even sure that's still up anymore, because they've been, in the last few years, much more strict about uh, copyrighted music. Like, uh, back in the days of Lucasfilm, they were much more kind of encouraging of fan films with using the music and... You know, but like these days, you know, every few weeks I get an email saying one of my videos was taken down or muted, so... Which, you know, it's it's fair, I, I understand why, I just, it's kind of too bad. Um, because I'm not sure I have backups of some of these. Uh... I do have Solitary, but I'm not sure about the rest. Uh... But... Eh, digressing, I guess. I... Uh, Dang, I've got I've got a flat piece here. I can't quite get it out. Oh, got it. Um, so yeah, I uh, like editing solitary. You I could do without filming anything new. So I did that. Uh, I got some new voice uh, recordings. I think from a couple of the cast members. Um, actually, I think uh, I think uh, Gareth uh, or Despugestu, um was, oh, look at that, look, there's four, there's actually four, uh, water pieces here, so, uh, back to the drawing board, but, um, yeah, I think Gareth, like, actually asked to re-record his, um, which I thought they were fine the first time, but, you know, really good the second time, um, and then I did, I did a, <laughs> I did the, uh, advertisement for Jamestown, my friend's podcast, which, uh, it's been a very long time since they've done, but, um, uh, that was because they bet me that I wouldn't actually animate our uh, improvised uh, pitch for an ad for this. And so just to prove them wrong, I did uh, do a little one starring the characters from Archaic. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's what still autoplays if you go to my channel, which isn't a very good introduction at all, but uh, that's what's there. Um, but yeah, that was, I think, the last thing I've animated at all since then. Um, because the following year, I, uh, uh, didn't go back to my hometown for the summer, and, um, or any year after that, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's where the animation has happened. Um, since then, I'm working full-time, um, uh, yeah, you know, I'm generally, generally doing well. So yeah, I, pretty unsurprisingly, YouTube has changed very much since I was on it. I mean, again, I, I've been pretty inactive in the last, uh, um, yeah, I guess uh, just about six years now since I really had anything new and substantial, but um, yeah, so it should really be more like a four-year retrospective, because six of the last ten years I haven't really been on so much, but... Um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's much more easy to just pick up and watch something random. Um, YouTube used to have a feature where you could look at the last, uh, the most recent videos uploaded, and now, um, I mean, it was all really weird stuff, but that was part of the fun, but, uh, I mean, now it's just, everything's uploaded so fast, you, they don't have that feature anymore, um, It's, uh, the Google Plus integration, um, you know, I really miss the old comment system. I mean, I know YouTube comments are, you know, kind of stereotypically awful, uh, you know, yourselves accepted, but, uh, you know, it was kind of nice being able to, like, actually track the thread of conversation, which you can't do so much anymore. Also tying it to real names, and I guess that's been more of a kind of paradigm for the internet in the last few years, but, um... I don't know, I feel like something's lost when everyone's got kind of a unique call sign, um, you know, a, a handle. Um, I mean, accounts like mine, you know, got kind of got grandfathered in, but any starting out person is going to have to be known by their first and last name, and it's going to be harder to kind of craft an identity, um, aside from that. Uh, 
Um, so Star Wars, that's definitely changed in the last few years. Uh, you know, since I quit, of course, Disney has acquired Lucasfilm. Um, the biggest... Actually, you know, I thought this would be a big deal for me. It ended up not really being a big deal. Uh, that the old expanded universe uh, was declared non-canon. Which makes sense. Like, when you're going to make the new movies, it would be just insanely restrictive to uh, keep the novels in mind, um, all of that. Uh, and I think they've been doing a very good job with it, too. Um, like, uh, they seem to be kind of taking the greatest hits of the expanded universe. Uh, like, Thrawn's in the new, uh, in Rebels right now. Um, and he's kind of... I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's some detail that wouldn't have matched with uh, the Timothy Zahn books, but, you know, they're just, you know, they know uh, Thrawn's a popular fan character, you know, there's no particular reason not to have him, so they just put him in the show. I think that's a really cool approach. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been really enjoying Rebels. Um, you might recall that I didn't really like uh, the Clone Wars when that was on. Um, yeah, I, I made that video about it that was really kind of mean in retrospect. Um, I liked the Grinch parody aspect of it, but, you know, doing it again, I don't think I would have done it quite like that, but, um, yeah, I, I really like Rebels. Uh, it, it really sort of, it, it's got a, um, I think having a narrative really helps follow it, like, uh, having character progression, things like that. Um, it really sounds like I'm just faintly praising Clone Wars at this point, but, uh, yeah, I think they're, they're doing a great job, um, you know, bring, especially just bringing back, uh, you know, original trilogy voice actors for cameo episodes, that's a really cool thing, um, uh, pretty enjoyable, uh, and, oh yeah, The Force Awakens, uh, you know, really enjoyed that also, uh, I did kind of miss the... Uh, I guess world building of the prequels a bit. I mean, I, I think it was a much more, um, you know, well executed uh, film by far, but uh, I do sort of miss just how dense the prequels were uh, in terms of background stuff. And here, you know, Jakku is basically indistinguishable from Tatooine and things like that. Um. So yeah, that's what, I guess that's what the uh, world at large has been up to since I uh, since I uploaded anything. Um, you know, shout out to Keshin Eight who also recently had a ten year anniversary. Um, also, Inglis ninety three and Gareth, cause why not? So anyway, even though I haven't used this channel for a while, um, I'm still open to using it for more things. Uh, maybe reviews, or maybe try animating again, or um, more videos like this maybe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, actually, uh, fun fact, I, I do have another YouTube channel that I've been using for the past couple of years. Uh, that's, uh, let's draw some stuff, okay, all in word. Uh, where I just do kind of fake drawing tutorials, like, the joke is that the drawing tutorials are very bad, but, um, I, I don't know, I like them. Um, you can, uh, watch them at the link on screen. Um, I actually met Aaron Carter through that channel, uh, but it's a long story, but you can find it all there if you're interested. Um, they're all uploaded as kind of a fictitious uh, persona called Lester, um, so that's why, uh, anyway, you'll see, you'll see, uh, but, yeah. Venice, I guess. Cool little model. Uh, good for your desk. 
Um, but yeah, you know, thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for uh, watching over the last ten years. It's still really weird to me, but uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Just let me know in the comments what you'd like to see.